Listen, it's 5 30 in the morning and she's like excited like like a bag of fireworks. So Will just bent down and tried to get me to climb on him and say he couldn't stand up. I would be totally cool with going with something like this, like pink. And that's not the only thing that's been changed in here. Will got a haircut. And I just absolutely love it because it, it turns something that was starting to look a little old into brand new again. When we made Friendship Our Home, our goal was not only to visit incredible places which can only be reached by water, but to build a life for us where each little detail makes us smile. Shake it, baby, like it's 1999. Put some hips into it, some core, come on. We have taken this approach in every bit of our travel life and it has kept us going for the last eight years. This might be our next mode of transportation. I, that would be really cool. We've heard stories how you can get expert craftsmanship at every corner here in Colombia, And now that we are here, we are going to jump in and give friendship a bit of a makeover. Join us as we give our satay a whole new look. I mean, this is going to make me so happy to have these yes, cushions Bobby. not look like someone just took a poop on them. Thank you so much to our patrons whose support make these episodes possible. Middle of the road It's just a feeling of a distant melody unknown Welcome to Santa Marta. Listen, it's 5 in the morning and she's like excited like, like a bag of fireworks. And I'm a morning person. And I'm still getting up. So... <laughs> So we have, let's see, okay, since I'm the morning person, I will give the itinerary. So as you guys know, there's been a lot of, a couple months off the boat in the last six months launching Avalon, and some things have kind of gone by the wayside of maintenance and updates and stuff. So we got here a couple days ago, and this weekend our plan is to get some new things for the boat, fix some things. If we can find it. Is that kind of what we're doing this weekend? If we can find it. 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 We're, we're optimistic. Right now we're just going for a walk to get our thoughts organized. We just need coffee first. Yeah. Yeah. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. ¿Qué tal? It feels so good to speak my Spanglish. Even though I'm terrible at it, I'd love to try. And I feel so proud of myself just when I say buenos dias. I love it. I love the Spanish language. Now we can move on to Spanish lesson two. <laughs> Spanish 1.2. That's right. Buenos dias. Now we got... I'm... Okay, let's give myself some credit. I'm better than just buenos dias. But you are much better than that. I am way, way out of practice, so... You understand I, a lot more than, than you than you can speak. But, that's exactly but, but you're it. you're very good. That's exactly it. I understand more than I can speak. Santa Marta is one of those towns that has a lot of grit. There's problems like any other growing town, petty theft exists, late night partying is a way of life here, but then there's a 6 a.m. crowd and this place becomes something else. The cleaning crew picks up after the evening crowd goes to bed and the morning beach dwellers take a dip in the Caribbean Sea before the afternoon sun makes things sweltering hot. It definitely is a tale of two cities. Oh my gosh, I'm lifting my own weight. What's that? I'm lifting my own weight. You're not lifting your own weight. I am. Look at the seat go up. It's leverage. Do you want coffee? Yeah. Okay. Un café? Azúcar, no azúcar. Do you want sugar? Eh, azúcar, sí. Sí, oh. That's yes. Um, do you got money? Yeah. <laughs> ¿Cuánto es? Dos. Dos. So that, that's 50 cents, basically. It's hot. It's hot? It's hot. It's good. Lo vende con leche y con azúcar. Leche con azúcar, sin azúcar, chocolate. Chocolate, todos son a dos mil. A dos mil, sí. Oh, wow. Hot wow. chocolate wow. with sugar, without sugar, with milk. Gracias. 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 Buen día. Wow, this That's is awesome. I'm never leaving, Will. I don't even drink coffee and I love this. It's hot. It's hot. It's, it's really hot. hot. It's really hot. <laughs> Look what Margo is drinking. A margarita. It is so not a margarita. <laughs> we have we have 100% fallen in love with the local cuisine, and one of those things is these lemonades. This is like a, a frozen lemonade, uh, like a slushy, almost like a, like a slush I puppy lemonade. I, like think 7-Eleven slushy, only it's, lemonade. It's version. so good, and here at a restaurant, it looks like this, and it's. Dollar fifty. It's, it's. I. I don't know if we're leaving Colombia for a long time. At least I don't think Largo is. I, I don't work out just to eat sugar, but I mean, there's definitely a lot of sugar in that. I can taste, definitely. It's good though. 
It's Saturday. Let's live it up. <laughs> As oh we my get God. All right, so it's time to get out of here and check this out, guys. The road is flooded. All the animals are coming two by two to the yard. Right oh my God. Let's go on the bus. Let's go on the bus, right? Yeah. Oh my God. I don't know if there's an approval. Santa Marta lies at the bottom of the Colombian Sierra Madre Mountains. And so when it rains, there is this localized short-term flooding. And in fact, it's the rainy season and this is what you get. But we were not going to be deterred from our quest to grab a few upgrades for our living space on Friendship. All right, so the only way to get across this road. We have to cross the Red Sea. And the only way we could do this is if, well, Jessica's got some pretty nice shoes on. At least shoes. I have my running shoes on. I've got Keen sleeve shoes. <laughs> Which are no problem. And so, so I'm gonna put on my back and we're gonna cross across this river and all the road. Will has not done this for like 30 years, so I don't even know if he can still carry it. I'm super excited. But we're gonna try guys. We're reinventing <laughs> our, our youth again. Oh boy, I'm a little nervous. Alright. So Will just bent down and tried to get me to climb on him. And hey, he couldn't stand up. He couldn't okay. stand up. Go ahead, stand right here. <laughs> Alright, now he found a stool that I'm gonna get on, he's gonna take me across. I hope this oh can you pick up the stool? Yep. Okay, you ready? Yep, let's go. There we go, there we go. <laughs> All right, go quickly, go quickly. Oh my gosh, I feel like we're on the amazing race. Oh my gosh. There I think we go. we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay guys, look, we're crossing right here. the boat cushions. Here we go. Now you gotta go back and get Largo. I know. All right, go get Largo. Yay, okay. All right, go, honey, go. You can do it. I'm more concerned about this guy spraying me than anything else. Oh, look at your son. He poor thing. Go get him. How fast can the turtle cross the road? <laughs> oh my god, I love these two. Look at his feet. Knee deep in water here. Oh, good. Now he's got the bridge. Uh, how was it? You're right. True testament love for a father for a son. I know. Was You're it right. Fun, Largo? Dad does have no hips. <laughs> Dad has no hips. <laughs> so our mission here is we're getting we're on like fabric row here in Santa Marta, and there's like ten different fabric stores. Looking for some of these. We brought our across the tape cushion cover. It's been I, when I was in the U.S. I tried to find some fabric that was somewhat stretchy that we could have in different colors made to cover the cushions, and I couldn't find it. So I didn't have this with me. So this time we actually brought it, and we're not going to stop. We braved the rain. We braved the flooding. We're not stopping until we find something. I'm not. I'm not risking a disease for, for no, getting nothing on this one. The fabric store in Colombia is an adventure into the unknown. There's so much to see, but if you can't find what you want, there's another one next door. All right, so the first store was a bust. They told me another store to go to. I'm finding out that under stress, under pressure, although my Spanish is okay, my, my Spanish of fabrics is not okay. So I'm trying my best to figure out where to go and how to get there, how to describe what we need. Um, I think it's right there. Hold on. I think, I think we just passed it. I think it's right over there. What, what was it called? Up in the corner, he said. Now, what we were looking for was a bit specific. I think we should just go with the Christmas fabric and call it a day. Wow. Oh, we can have multi, multi <laughs> event. Holiday. <laughs> These covers must go around our satay cushions and they need to be a bit stretchy. So they sent us upstairs for the expanded viewing collection. Mm. It doesn't have enough give on it. It has to be, it has to be. Mi espanol, más o menos. Mi profesor. Well, profesor, profesor, profesor. Yeah. It has to be able to be stretchy because it's got to wrap around the... Sí. Yeah. What would she say? Say so stretch and then water impermeable, but... Well, <clears throat> the water isn't the end of the world, to be honest. All right, so what's this the plan? Is, so this is just to replace the one we have. This just a nice light look. If we're ever shooting photos for whatever reason, we need a different look. But I think we need to add in a really, like, I would be totally cool with going with something like this, like pink with some really fun. Because <laughs> listen, listen, we have those Ecuador fun, colorful pillows, and then we're going to add some You might as well add in the baby bears baby in the blocks. I don't know. I mean, I think we should have some fun with it, don't you? Well, I mean, I don't, what, what do you want? It doesn't have to be pink, but... I mean, I think we can we go, go with this. Nautical blue. You want that? 
a tough material. <laughs> For a tough guy. <laughs> Lago Lar thinks that cabeza. this isn't exactly a uh, boat fitting, but just, it actually feels, it feels like a baby's blanket. I want to sleep on this. You don't put your naked butt on that. I'm, I'm not putting my naked butt on this. The previous owner made this look so easy. When she sent me the pictures, it like looked... Well, I mean, she, like this. Said she made it. She made it. Can you believe it? She made that? I'm so unskilled in that area. I wonder if Avalon could make one of these for us. Avalon probably could. Avalon could do anything. Let's get Avalon back. What we decided to do was create a new cover for one of our existing settee cushions and have their sewing team create a cover in three different fabrics. Then we can see how well they can recreate what we have and how we like the fabric inside Friendship. Hey, you want a break? I'm on a, I, I can't, I want to be on a break, but I can't. Uh, we have so much to take care of. We have crew coming on board in a few weeks. And so we have to make sure that we have this place all taken care of. I'm sitting in Avalon's room right now. And this room is going to be the room where Largo moves into when we have crew coming on board because Largo's room has its own head. And now it's time. We were just throwing all this stuff in here, bags. Also, I want to get this room kind of back to looking like Avalon's room because I miss her. And if I want to pop in here for a minute, and right now it's been like suitcases and fishing rods and everything from when we came back from the U.S. And it is time to get it organized. Plus, you've been dealing with a little bit of insomnia, so it's uh, yeah. This is a well, nice place. I'm to quite hang out. an early riser, but I've been rising earlier. The Caribbean is so damn hot; you want to get up early and just get stuff done. So. This mm, that you're hearing, that's our fans. We've convinced ourselves that they actually do something. I think they only do something if you're sitting directly in front of them, but I'm keeping them on because it's sweltering here. So basically in order to get all this stuff back under the bed, we have to tear the entire bed apart. The mattress needs to come off, all the sheets, the things that protect it from mold, and it is a project, guys. Every time we say we have to get something underneath there, one of us in the family goes, oh, really? Do you really need it? Each time we go in there, though, we do make sure that we're simplifying and getting rid of stuff. So now we get to start the process again, and I'm hoping there's going to be a bunch of things that we need to get rid of because there's more things we're putting in there now, believe it or not. Here we come, or here comes the mattress. And so we kind of have this process where the suitcases are down here on the floor, the mattress comes through, and it goes in front of the refrigerator over here, and here comes the like, mattress. living on a small boat. I don't think, have we ever shown anyone this on a video? What's underneath our sheets, basically? We have yet to do a full boat tour. I don't think that's ever been vacuumed. <laughs> Has it? How much still like some gummy bears from once more. <laughs> All right, here we go under one. And that's mostly luggage. There's a comforter in there. The issue is that we have luggage for like every occasion in here, <laughs> which is which is not good because we, we normally don't leave the boat. So here is a duffel bag, which is going out. So this, Avalon wants his bag, so when she packs up school, she has a bag, but she needs something that goes real small. We have our boots. What boots? Our, our, our foul, foul weather, weather boots, boots. yep. Yeah. Do you think those should be more easily accessible? We never use them. We don't use them. And then we have our heater in here and okay, and then we have another. Oh my gosh, we have another one of those? Yep, we're not. How Avalon's many? not taking three. Are they reproducing in there? No. We're, when we were traveling full time, we each had a duffel and we had a bag. Wow. Okay. Yep. I don't think she needs another one. No. So Willa's now a sweaty mess putting Avalon's bed back together. We've got a lot of stuff in there, which is great. And how are you feeling about this, Will? I'm glad we're doing it before 9 a.m. I know, right? It's not even 9 a.m. and it's disgusting hot. Disgusting. Welcome to Colombia. <laughs> and just like magic, the next day the fabric store called and we went running to see what she had made. And we were super excited to see how it all looked. So we got our three samples that we picked different fabric for back from the seamstress. Where's the original? Oh, you want to show that? Ooh. I, I want to see the original. The original is look at this. so gross and tattered and dirty. And that don't look at it. It's versus, embarrassing. Versus this. Hold on. Just look, look at this. Honestly. That's saying we're dirty people. That means that <laughs> this and is how bad it got. And when we got the boat, this thing was actually pristine. Perfect. White. Perfect. So, But there's four of us and a cat, so I'm not going to make excuses. So we have three options. Option number one. Is option this? number two. Option number three. And we're probably going to go with more than one, right? We're probably going to go with 
I don't know, we're land with three, but we know for sure that this one is not even going to get tried on. So I am terrible at putting these on. There's something I'm just unable to no, do it. This way. So Will is going to do, I'm going to try and help him. Go ahead, go there. No, we're not even sure if it's going to fit. We took the lady, the other one, but you know, you just uh, never know with different fabric. Oh, wow. She's good. Oh my God. That looks great. It's good. It looks awesome. Now this is going to get dirty so fast. So we need to get another color of this. And when we go back to the shop, after we try these all on, we're going to let you guys help us vote. But we'll probably, we're going to have to make the decision before they can actually vote, right? Well, yeah. Because we, we're not going to be here for um, well, Who knows? We need to throw it on Instagram. The goal is is to make also backs as well. Apparently at one point in time there were backs, but they've disappeared somehow. So we're going to take all the bottom ones over to her so she can make those. And then like Will said, he'll, her husband is going to come over and measure them. So I love this. I think it's perfect. All right, let's go. Right? Let's try okay. the next one. So that one works. And this, this one, is this I is more of, festive one, right? Like, yes. It's like a nightclub. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This looks wow. fabulous. Wow. Oh, look at that. Look. <laughs> Oh my it looks gosh. so good. Now it's really hard to tell though because we don't have it on everything. Like, is it gonna be too much blue? And these, so the back would be blue. And these. Wow! Are, look at it. We can do. Look at that. I kind of like this as is with like the the cross color. Yeah, this is just really dirty looking. You, you know what? Maybe we can like mix and match these. Like we one. could. Like people do with bathing suits these days. So it's come down. We're gonna get these two for sure. And we were thinking about getting this in another color, but we've decided that we really like this a lot, and we're gonna get this yes, another like version that. of this one in the yellow in the yellow in the whiter color. We wound up going with three options and we had to get a ton of fabric to make everything perfect. In total for each color we had eight meters of fabric. That's a lot of fabric. <laughs> I mean this is going to make me so happy to have these yes, cushions Daddy. not look like someone just took a poop on them but it's a lot of fabric. And then since we were in the redecorating mood we decided to add one more additional upgrade. So I'm getting a dress made. Do you guys like it? So this is actually going to be these, what came with the boat, and they're outside cushions that go on our outside chairs. Um, and they're really just getting destroyed. And I'm sure they were just bought at like a big box store and they're not waterproof. And we need these outside waterproof and comfortable. So we're getting four of these made here for our four outside chairs. And I might get a dress too. <laughs> a little sundress on that. Yeah. Do you want a dress? Do you want a pair of pants? <gasps> we can get I get a dress and get a pair of pants. <laughs> and then we could sit on them with our bathing suits on. <laughs> Shortly afterwards, the seamstress came to take additional measurements to do the final sewing job. And then, within a few days, this is what we got, and we could not be happier. And that's not the only thing that's been changed in here. Will got a haircut. I did. You got a lot of hairs cut. <laughs> I got them all cut. This wasn't intentional. It was, I told the person just to do an inch below the ears and then they decided that they're gonna have fun with it an inch but, above. but we're not talking about that right now we're talking about something more important which is our, our, our new sate covers and look how lush this thing looks oh my gosh i feel like we're in like smoking lounge. like a smoking lounge i i was about to say that like some kind of like velvet Speedy. almost like champagne room look at that I've got so, option one, option, option two. two. I don't think this one really translates well to film. It's kind of a, a shimmering light gray with darker gray lines to it. If that it makes it's sense. kind of, yeah, it, it's a little bit, yeah, kind of. I like Is that, that a good description. It, it would look a lot darker in the showroom than it does here, but the other one we we're comparing to was a lot lighter, so that's fine. And then it's the same texture of this, so it feels like I wish I can like feel this for touch you it, like scratches stuff, yeah touch and touch this feels so nice we haven't washed this yet i'm really concerned about that okay. and then the Option last number one three is going to be which is very similar to what was here before and i think it might be my favorite just because it lightens up the room so much so it's a cream with i guess i don't know what you would call those little bubbles little it. bubbles and it's it's nice and airy and it's cottony and so you don't feel super hot and i just absolutely love it because it tear it turns something that was starting to look a little old into brand new again and i don't know i feel like it's like a brand new boat i like that it feels fun it's gonna be good it doesn't holidays. yeah I and in case you're interested in what this all cost us essentially all the fabric in general cost us around 350 dollars and all the sewing was another 
200 on top of that. So 550 for three different sets of, of sate covers, which I think are gonna change the way we feel when we enter this room. I think that's a great deal for it. And Will and I were talking and we think, you know, our plan has always been 10 years on the boat. Who knows, it might be more, it might be less. But the last pair we had for two years and they were the only set we have. So we think of this as an investment of 500 US dollars to last us for the next eight years on the boat. Um, and hopefully we'll leave the new owners at some point with a nice pristine set. All right, and so with that, we are done with with our <laughs> upgrades. I feel like the boat is a constant upgrading process, but this one, I think we're gonna enjoy it quite a bit. I know you guys didn't see all three sets on, but give us your vote. Which one do you like? The cream, the kind of gray shimmery thing, or the one that's currently on there? Um, I'd love to see what you guys think because we're, we're kind of torn, you know, which is our favorite. And so it'd be nice to get your opinion. I think like next time in the next stop, we'll, we should put on the other color just so we can mix oh, it up. that's a good idea. The next three vlogs or something will change or next country or something like Yeah, that. we'll do that. Okay. Okay, bye. bye. All right, here we go for the unveiling. This is where we keep the dead bodies. The stretch is more important. Oh my gosh, I'd love to do something like fun like this. The green, you know, the orange or the pink just... Look out, this is what we could do with Avalon's room. Oh my gosh. We could change our cabin. That welcome home. Can you imagine she comes home, we've got a heart-shaped bed in there and like mirrors on the ceiling. Welcome to a new cité. <laughs> Century's looking at me going, who the hell is this? And why is she using that?